In this example, we want to take a look at how jQuery Mobile handles tables. So here is a basic table that I've created and insert into a page that we've loaded jQuery Mobiles. Now, the problem with a normal table is that as I get smaller, I start condensing my table, running out of space, then certain rows, because of the size of their columns, will start to condense, go to multiple lines, etc. However, at some point, you'll notice that you can't condense it any further, and now you start to lose your information. So jQuery Mobile provides an interesting solution for us to look at. So switch to our text editor. You notice here I've already set up my div with the data role of page. I've already set my table, and now I want to add my data role of table. This is because we can have a table perform as a normal table or as a jQuery mobile table by adding this attribute. Switch back to my browser, reload it. Now what you notice by default it's going to do is it's going to make each row into a separate rows. So I have here my first year, 2013, has all my information about that year and who won the Academy Award for the best movie that year. Then it moves to my new year. You'll notice that it takes the column headers and automatically puts them on my left column to describe information about my right column. However, this makes for a long piece of information at the scroll where I might have a mobile device like a tablet or a large phone where I can easily still see a table if I need to. So I'm going to switch back to my text editor. I'm going to add a new property. I'm going to add the column toggle. Now a column toggle allows me to hide certain columns if I want to. Now it takes my table and makes it look like a regular table inside of jQuery Mobile. It has added a button up at the top right hand side for columns that I can use later on to hide columns if I want to. In order to toggle my columns, I need to go back in my text editor. And in my columns, I need to define what has to be there and what can easily be removed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new property to my table header cells. This is going to be called my data priority. If I don't specify a data priority, it means that it's important and has to stay. It's critical information. Otherwise, I can give a value between 1 and 6, 1 being more important, 6 being least important, to define which columns will disappear first. On the other hand, I may not care about the award nominations, so I'll give it a lower priority. and copy and paste that for the award number of wins for that movie. The box office receipts could be considered somewhat important, maybe a little bit in the middle. And the release date something that's going to be more important, so I'll give a priority of one. You'll notice I do not have to use all my numbers between one and six. You'll also notice that I can repeat certain numbers if I want to. This is helpful if I have a table that has lots of columns of information in it. I'm going to save this, switch back to my browser and reload, and you notice right away it has information where it's hidden some of my columns. I can come over here and I can say I want to show these columns, turning them on by simply clicking on a little box. Now that I've turned on my columns, I can see more information based upon the spacing that I have. jQuery Mobile provides some other styling that we can use for our tables as well. This can be done in the process of using classes. So for example, in my table, I'll add a class. Inside my class attribute, I'll add UI-responsive. Now UI-responsive increases the functionality of column toggle. So if I reload my document, you now see my different columns here. And as I scroll down, you will start to notice that some of my columns disappear based upon their priority and how much information is available. I'll eventually get down to a small enough size that only my 
highest priority, the ones I did not specify data priority for, will appear. So this takes the toggle column feature and truly enhances it to make it more effective. Additionally, I can add a class, for example, like zebra striping. Now jQuery Mobile calls it table stripe, and if I reload, you notice it automatically highlights every other row. This is going to make so large tables are a little bit easier to read. And if I want to isolate and highlight some information a little bit separately, I can add the UI shadow class. So this is just some basic ways that you can style and work with tables inside of jQuery Mobile a little bit easier and more effectively for different users. If you found this video tutorial helpful, please like and share it with others. If you want to keep up with other videos that are coming out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. That way you can get the most up-to-date information.